Letter seventy eight of Letters from Egypt by Lady Lucy Duff Gordon. Read for LibriVox.org into the public domain. To Mrs. Rost, Eid el Kebra, Wednesday, April, eighteen sixty seven. Dearest Janet, I had not heard a word of Henry's illness till Mr. Palgrave arrived and told me, and also that he was better. Alhamdulillah. I only hope that you are not knocked up, my darling. I am not ill, but still feel unaccountably weak and listless. I don't cough much, and have got fatter on my regime of camel's milk, so I hope I may get over the languor. The box has not made its appearance. What a clever fellow Mr. Palgrave is! I never knew such a hand at languages. The folks here are in admiration at his Arabic. I hope you will see Monsieur Brun. I am sure you would like him. He is a very accomplished and gentlemanly man. You have never told me your plans for this year, or whether I shall find you when I go down. The last three days the great heat has begun, and I am accordingly feeling better. I have just come home from the Biram early prayer out in the burial place, at which Palgrave also assisted. He is unwell, and tells me he leaves Luxor to morrow morning. I shall stay on till I am too hot here, as evidently the summer suits me. Many thanks for Miss Berry and for the wine, which makes a very pleasant change from the rather bad claret I have got. Palgrave's book I have read through hard, as he wished to take it back for you. It is very amusing. If you come here next winter, Mustafa hopes you will bring a saddle, and ride all his horses. I think I could get you a very good horse from a certain Sheikh Abdallah here. Well, I must say good-bye. Kalu sana inti taib. Love to Henry. End of letter 78. Read by Sibella Denton. All LibriVox files are in the public domain. For more information, please visit LibriVox.org.